so cold I just saw a cow take a pee and it was froze before it hit the ground. Any new babies? And there she goes. That is, is a moo call calving sensor. Oh, it looks like we could use a bail out here somewhat soon. You put it on one that's getting kind of a big bag. She's also a calm heifer. So you put it on them, and then it's supposed to basically send you a notification when she's starting to calve. And it's usually about an hour or two ahead of before that calf, that calf comes out. And so it gives you a pretty good amount of time to check her out. What do you think? Looks like a green turd on it. I ever tell you about the time that I came out to check cows and there was a heifer with uh, three legs sticking out of the back of her? Uh -uh. So I put her in the head gate and the first thing I had to determine was it one calf with three legs sticking out or twins? And it was twins, two legs on one and one on the other. So I reached in and I pushed the one calf back that had one leg out and then I pulled the other one out and then I got the other one out. Mm -hmm. Nice. That was. Good day. Did I tell you about the time I went outside at night to, before I went to bed to check and see if anything was calving in here? And I heard something mooing outside, and then there was a calf out there that was born laying outside, or yeah. standing outside? Yeah, you told me about it because you called me and said there's one calving outside, and then we put it in and yeah. you saved it. Good yeah. job. That was last night. We thought we did our due diligence, but a cow ended up calving outside. And it was pitch black, and it's hard chasing cattle up, but... We got the mom and the calf up. The calf's doing pretty good for being born outside. It seemed like it was pretty fresh. It wasn't out there too yeah, long. Yeah, you caught it early. But today is the last day of this bitter cold. Tomorrow the high is zero, which doesn't sound too bad considering right now it's negative about 20. Negative 20 degrees outside. I bet that water drinker is froze. We'll have to deal with that. And we're excited to try this moo call sensor. Hopefully. Hopefully it helps. I also got a story. It was just recently Valentine's Day and I was out with a special someone. Uh, we got some appetizers and she, believe it or not, she tried the first one and I asked her if it was hot and she said no. And so then I tried it. After I bit into it, spewed onto my lip is what I have to believe the morning shard of Satan after Taco Bell. And so I burnt my lip and can you see a, can you see that? I got a blister on my lip. And she said it wasn't hot. Would you say that that was a hot load that you had on your lip? I hope I put that sensor on right. It looked a little... I tightened it up three times and my hands are starting to get cold. I probably should have tightened it up one more time. The one thing that really sucks about the sensor is, of course, you got to get the critter in, put the sensor on it, and then after it calves, you got to get it back in and take the sensor off so but there are definitely some applications where that's really important like you didn't have a big enough barn to get multiple critters in you can put the sensor on a few of those cows that are up close and then you know in the middle of the night you get a message once calving you can put that one in the barn since you don't have much room or if you have one that prolab you know sometimes when one of those starts calving that has been sewed up sometimes you got to cut the stitches and so that would just work amazing for those people. You get a nice notification on your phone that your cow is calving. You just cut those stitches and you're ready to go. Um, why is there water coming out? I don't wanna deal with that today. With these temps, it's possible the heater went out and it froze in here. fan quit working on the heater and I think this is frozen it seems as though the fan on the heater quit working and there's no water coming out so I think that's froze I gotta get a bunch of heat in there to thaw it well guys there's doings see if one of these other ones will work 
Come on. Well, like I said, today is like the last day of this bitter cold. Next week, the highs are in the 30s and even tickling the 40s. That's gonna. Be, I'm gonna be in a bathing suit. That's gonna be hot. We're gonna go swimming, especially these new baby calves. They have been troopers, staying safe, staying healthy. It's been going good, especially with how bad the weather's been. I did try another one out back. Well, why? Just to make sure it wasn't this that was froze up. That's why. It's going. We did it. You know what you say in this situation? Bing bong. Eureka! All right. All right. We're have to buy another here today. We don't have another one that works, do we? I thought we did. And that's how you do that. I can about guarantee you will. Need this to thaw out this drinker. Might be good, who knows? As my college buddy, Mr. Kettner, once said, today, shrinkage is a factor. Hello? Well, what is going on? Hopefully this one works, because this one basically runs all day. You're kidding me. I'm no math magician. But it's cold outside. That one's still running. This one goes to the that way and this one goes that way. So maybe we're froze here yet somewhere. It might take off. The pump's running. So the heater that was in there, the coils were heating, but the fan wasn't blowing. Now we're in the white building in the back, which we got all bedded ready for calving. Ellie, you're freaking me out. What is it? Chupacabra? All right, and back here, we have our little heated calving issue room and a nice, brand new, never used heater. You got your raccoons running around up there. Did you get them? Round them up, girl, round them up. You're a real genius, Dad. He said he turned it to fan, just fan. It started spinning, then put it back to heat and it kept working. Yeah, that's some real rocket science there. That's a step up from smack it with a pair of pliers. Uh -huh. My usual go-to, right? Yeah. yeah. It looks like that one might be working now. Alright, Dad's gonna start feeding. I gotta let those pears out at the south farm so they can get food and water. You gonna start today, girl? Good morning. Hi there. Their ears are warm. They're doing good. It's amazing what those calves can withstand with just a little bedding and being out of the wind. Never seen that before. Negative 20 is pretty cold, but even their ears are warm. We got these six pairs over here, and I'm pretty sure we got six pairs in the barn. A couple of those ones in the barn, I'm sure we'll be calving within the next 24 hours. So I already got a text message. High cow activity the last hour. <laughs> we just put the sensor on the cow. Maybe it's because it finally got to go outside and it's eating and it's happy and it's moving its tail. Maybe that cow's gonna calve here in the next hour already. Did you hear that moo? I'm happy that it sending me messages that means it's working but it seems like we might get a calf here in a little bit looks like dad has one load done go back there help him make sure nothing's calving outside see if those waters are running there's the girl with the sensor oh it is working righteous right on all right i think i think all's good in the world now She's actually about to calf. Actually, when I drove by over there, I could see she was pushing. We'll get her up in the barn here soon. There's, I couldn't see any feet yet. She's got a ways to go. About to have a brand new baby. I've seen a couple critters drink out of this. See if it's refilling itself. You can see that ball's not coming back up. I think it dropped down all the way to negative 22 degrees Fahrenheit last night. So I was pretty sure that was going to freeze. I did get a message on my phone saying 
that she was doing it. Oh. I can see a foot. Calf's coming soon. Everybody's fed and watered. I just got the second notification cow activity for the last two hours. I'm just giddy that the thing works. All the waters are getting full, which is nice. Get them shut off, we'll run them all later today. That one drinker is still frozen yet. We'll hop up in the Bobcat, get that thing running. What's up? Pretty much what we did with the pump house earlier is how we thawed these out. And we get tons of questions about our current water tank situation. Those big tires cut in half. We're saying, why don't we have more drinkers or troughs? We like those big water tanks because they're pretty reliable. You turn the water on, they're running, especially during the summer. Big capacity. Got a lot of thirsty critters on them 100 degree days. They got water and it just works great. The other thing is, these things work amazing. Very rarely do you have to do anything with them. Don't got to turn the water on. Don't got to turn it off. Don't got to. You like my grammar? But on days like today, when it does freeze, that means it's really cold and now you gotta stand out there and work on it. We used to take the nuts off, pop all that stuff off, pour hot water on it. Dad, I don't know if he saw it somewhere or thought of this idea, but we put this hose on the bobcat and we stick that underneath so that hot water rises and warms that valve. And it just, it takes time. Whereas these tanks, most days, you just flip the hydrant on and the water's coming already. But with this thing, when it does freeze, it's a pain in the butt. So that's why we have those water tanks, plus the water tanks are paid for. We don't have to buy something else to replace them. Up in here is where the valve is. You just kind of poke that down. The hot air will come up and warm the valve and hopefully unthaw it. But this ball's popping back up. So it's thawed out and filling. Both are drinking some water. We do have one sucky job that we want to get done today. You right? That pen back there, that's something in my eye. It has those meaner cows that we sorted off, plus the skinnier second calf heifers that we put in a pen so we could feed them better. Tomorrow is the cow sale, so we're gonna sort those up because we're getting rid of those ones that we don't enjoy calving too much. So it'll be nice getting rid of those. They did it. I can see where if you have a really expensive cow or an embryo transfer or something like that that you might really like something like that. Mm -hmm. Putting it in the head gate and before and stuff. Just... And now having to do it after? Yeah. Kind of stinks. Playing with my doggies. Huh. Nice. Holiday. Uh-huh. Nice. <laughs> Anyone else claving? It's too cold for a small guy like me to be opening and closing gates. Too cold. That's all I've got to say about that. You are my hero. Go. Go. Get. They go up in there a lot easier when they have to go that way to get water every day. Good big cow. Good big. The boogers in my nose are frozen. You know, we had so many first get bred that we decided to keep them and get rid of some of these other cows that we raise really good cows, but they're just hard to tag them. So when I take them in, I'm going to announce that. 
dad's gonna take off. My face is a little frozen. I suppose we could get that sensor off here. Yeah. Not as clean as it once was. Sounds like dad's here. Before I put her back out, I'm gonna give that calf its optimizer gel. Now I'm working on it. Okay. I just, I got it off. Okay. I was just gonna give that calf the gel. Harder hit getting her in the head gate that second time. The girl. Dad's taking off a load too. Yeah, so with the six pairs at the other farm, now there's seven here, so that's a total of 13 calves. And I'm not 100% sure how many are boys and how many girls, but at the end of the day, we'll update the tallies and see how many of each we got. I wish I could tell you if this optimizer gel is doing a good job or not. It's kind of one of those things where you gotta wait and see. If you weren't here the first time we talked about it, it's kind of a scour protectant. It's got some vitamins, some natural bacteria. Pretty sure it has some antibodies in there. And that's all the testimonials they have and he wanted to try it. And so we're just hoping that helps our calves stay healthier. By the time we get everything to pasture, if we notice compared to last year, we had a lot less scours, then we'd probably be buying some more of it next year. And hopefully that's how it turns out. It's nice to find something that works. There's a raccoon around here somewhere. All right, Dad, we got eight calves on the board, but we got 13 on the ground. Four more girls and one boy. Okay. Girls are catching up. One, two, three, four, fast, six, plus seven. Yeah, they did. Girls are in the lead. Eight. <laughs> she was falling pretty close. Hello. Getting wrapped up with chores here. Dad and I are gonna go grab Jeff's dog one more time. I'm gonna give it another chance to make some puppies with Ellie. We don't know if they did the dance last time, and we just think spreading it out, maybe she'll be more apt to receiving today as compared to about four or five days ago. Yeah, the first thing you do once you get in here is peel over. <laughs> oh, that's some wet stuff. <laughs> this is a stink. No wonder Ellie doesn't want to breed with that dog. <laughs> hey, gross. <laughs> He's on the chase. You'll never find another love like mine. <laughs> Is that Barry White? I have no clue. You gotta sing Barry White music to him. Set, set the mood. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, oh my. Whoa. Well, this is totally different than it was the other day. This is interesting. That was my daughter. I don't know if this is allowed on the TV. <laughs> I think it was good we waited a few days and then put Yeah, because in. they never acted like this at any time the other day. Mm -hmm. We got 13 calves on the ground. Half 13 calves on the ground. Other than that, looks like it's going to start warming up here in about three days. And we're really up excited to for that. blistering, what, 18 above in three days? Yeah, two but days? in like five days, it's going to be like 35. Break out your swimsuits, people. Mm-hmm. So I uh, hope you enjoyed watching today. We'll see you next time. Have a good one. That's, that's what I say. You see that? There are birds stuck up in there. I gotta imagine he had to have flown real fast up in there or he was trying to crawl out from the inside. Yeah, it don't look like he's crawling out from the inside. It looks like he's crawling in from the outside. <laughs> you know what the last thing he did? Last thing he gave him? Was the bird? Yep. <laughs>